The question two is to use the sum and difference identities of sine and cosine. But since it's an electronic part, we did not need to do that. We can use any method. And this is from the lesson 11.3. Here we have a real world problem. A geologist measures the angle between one side of the rectangular lot and the line from a position. You can see where the geologist is there. This is the person. And this is the rectangular lot given. So this is uh, the borders. Okay, you can see the ends. That's the borders basically. And here from one corner, see from the opposite corner, this is one corner, right? The opposite corner is where the geologist is there. And from here to here, you can measure the angle to be 30 degrees because it's given. Okay, it's mentioned. So this is the angle that they are talking about. She then measures the angle between that line, see, between this line and the line and the and the line to the point on the property where river crosses at 45 degrees. So now, from this line to another line, this is the point where the river is crossing. See, th that is the line they have told where river crosses at 45 degrees. So this is as 45 degrees, sorry. Here the river crosses. And this is given 30 45 and what else she stands 100 meters from the opposite corner of the property so from here the opposite corners right these are corners vertices edges so this distance is given to be 100 okay we know so much and now how far is she from the point at which the river crosses the property line so this is the property end right because they have already mentioned over here in the second sentence. So we need to find the distance from where she is until this point. So basically, this distance is what we need. Now, instead of using any sum and difference of angle identities, what I'll do is I'll just write down what is known and what is required. I think so there is a figure already. Yeah, this one. I'll just refer to this. It's just the same one, but a bit cleaner one. This is the place where geologist is there. And this y is what we want. This is 30 degrees. This is 45 degrees. So what is the opposite side? Opposite angle. They're equal. This is 30. And remaining, this is 90. So remaining, it's a rectangle. So all ends or corners are 90 degrees each. 90 and this remaining is 60 degrees. Now, if this is 30, so then this entire thing is 60. But they have told us this is 45. So remaining is 15. So we have just measured all the angles. And this is 100. So in order to find this, we can use trigonometry, right? But we, we know this, yes. But do we know the hypotenuse here? No, that is what we are finding for. But do you know any other side? Do you know this side or this side? No. But can we find any of the corners? Yes, because we know this 100. See this midline. This is 90. That's the hypotenuse. You know these two angles. So you can find this corner, right? So let me consider it to be x. I can find x first. Which identity gives me which trig identity? This is theta. Theta is 30 degrees. So sine is opposite by hypotenuse, right? I'm not, I don't need the adjacent side. So I'll use sine theta formula. Sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. So we know theta is 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees is equal to opposite is x by hypotenuse is 100. So now here, we take the 100 to the other side or just put this entirely in the calculator, you'll get it. So it'll be sine 30 degrees times 100. That is equal to x. Just put this in the calculator and you'll get the answer. Here I'll just multiply sine. Now I'm using 30 degrees, isn't it? Can I use the radian mode here? No. I need to press shift mode 3. Now it's in degrees or just clear your calculator. Just clear the calculator. It'll be in degree mode in by default. So let me use sine 30 degrees. Close the bracket. Multiply it by 100. It is 50. This is the correct answer. Let me make it in radians for a minute and see this is absolutely wrong. Isn't it? So this is absolutely wrong. You need to have it in degree mode. And this is the correct answer. It's 50. So X is 50. But that is not what we want. X is 50. So now in this particular triangle, I know this is 50. I know this is 15. And the hypotenuse is unknown. So I can easily find it by Pythagoras theorem. I mean trigonometry again. Which one over here? 
I can use cosine. I'm just going to write it over here. Cosine theta is adjacent by hypotenuse, isn't it? Because 15 degrees is the theta. This is theta. Adjacent to it is 50. So cosine 15 is equal to adjacent is 50 divided by what is hypotenuse? That is unknown. Y. So y will be 50 divided by cosine 15. Let's uh, look at what is the y value. Let's use our calculators. Over here, you are to do 50 divided by, or you can use the fraction symbol, cosine 15 degrees. Now it's in degree mode, so I'll just write cosine 50, 15, and this is the answer. But this will not be in your options. I think, um, yeah, it'll be in decimal. It's 51.76. That's the final answer. That is the distance for the geologist, geologist till the till wherever it, the point of the river, you know. So 51.76 is the correct answer. You can see the methods here. First, we find x, and then they have used the sum and difference angle identities. But we are we avoided it, and we found the answer. Yes, it was 51.76. That is 51.8. This is the final answer. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.